Hey, good morning and welcome to the Thursday edition of the follow through. And uh, you're probably wondering why am I wearing a, a Flyers jersey and, and I'm wearing it because right, I'm just hoping that this COVID thing can be over, right? So we can all get together and, and, and kind of life can get back to some sort of normal. Uh, and that means hockey. Uh, and so for the next three days, we're going to uh, kind of have some hockey jerseys on just to show some support and uh, you know, kind of we're in this together, waiting for uh, things to start back up again. Um, but we're still in Psalm 32. Uh, today we're going to look at verse 5, and here's what it says. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Right? This is David talking to God. He said, look, here's kind of how I'm going to proceed. I'm not going to hide anymore. We talked about that last week. When you when you hold it all in and try to fix it yourself, things bad things happen, right? It's like it's like your insides are kind of rotting and, and like wasting away. But there's freedom and joy in, in saying to God every day, all the time, Lord, Lord, you know the darkness that's in me. You know the issues that I have. And I'm going to take those to you. I'm not going to hide them. I'm going to just bring them to you, right? It's like going to the doctor and, uh, you know, and saying, you know what, I'm going to tell you everything, uh, every symptom that I have, everything that's going on, because, you know, it might, you know, because when I, when I do that, you might be able to figure out what it is. And, and God doesn't have to figure it out. He knows what the sin is and he knows uh, the, you know, the, the solution, which is Jesus. Uh, the one of my favorite singers is a guy by the name of Derek Webb. I you may remember he was in a band called Cayman's Call a long time ago. And one thing he said a, long, a while back was that uh, one of the best things that could happen for every believer in Jesus would be for their all their sins to be broadcast on the 5 o'clock news. Now I'm sure, I'm sure that none of us want that to happen. Uh, but his point is that, you know, if, if everybody knew everything about you the worst i mean what could they have again like over you like what secret there would be none right what 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 could they kind of what dirt could they conjure up there would be none and that's kind of what, what the, the point that that david is making here like like just go to him trust that he can forgive you that was david's experience that, that god forgave him See, and sometimes we're afraid. We're wondering, you know, that maybe what we've done is too much, but, but there's no sin that Jesus did not die to forgive. Right? There, there's no such thing as big sins or little sins, right? He, he died and, and, and paid the price for all of them. So, so bring all of that to him today and experience his life-giving forgiveness. We'll see you tomorrow.